Hello, and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm gonna show you to make an Amazon cardboard cutout jitterbug toys with using a few simple parts. Let's get started. And these are the items you're gonna to need to make for this project. The items you're gonna need, two three volt button cell batteries, two 3 volt button cell battery holders, two slide switches, two vibrating DC motors, and a cardboard cutout. Now let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. In this Amazon box, you can see there's some designs on these flaps. This one right here is too smashed, so I'm not gonna use this one. If you look inside the box, there are two more flaps, which will have two different designs. This one's a B, and this one over here is a snail. Now let's go ahead and tear open the box and get to these little cutouts. And there, the cutouts are now ready, and I'm gonna take my scissors and simply cut them out. And there, it should look just like this. And now, simply put the two parts together and it should look just like this. Next, take the three volt benzo battery holder. This side's negative, this side's positive, and I'm gonna take the slide switch and connect the center pin of the slide switch to the positive terminal of the three volt benzo battery holder. Place it in just like this. Next, solder tin the negative terminal. And I'll solder the slide switch to the positive terminal. And I'll solder tin one of the pins of the slide switch. There we go, it should look just like this. And I'll repeat the same process one more time and it should look just like this. Next, take the vibrating DC motors and connect them to the rest of the circuit. Blue wire represents negative, connect to the negative terminal. Red wire represents positive and solder to the slide switch. And there, the circuit is now complete. Now, do the exact same thing with the second one. And it should look just like this. And there, now I have two circuits that are now complete. Next, take the circuits and attach it to the cardboard cutouts. What I'm gonna do is use some hot glue and put a generous amount of hot glue onto this three volt button cell battery holder and attach it to the cardboard cutout. And I'll take the vibrating DC motor and twist it so the wires won't be so loose. And I'll take a little bit of hot glue and place it right here on the tail of that bee. And then take the vibrating DC motor and glue it into place. Add a little bit more hot glue to glue it into place better. And I'll repeat the same process with the snail. And there, she'll look just like this. Next, take the three volt button cell batteries and place them into the circuit. And there, the circuit is now complete. Now, let's go ahead and test them out. Turn on the switch, and you can see the snail moves. And I'll turn on the switch on the bee. And as you can see, the bee moves. I need to make some adjustments first. Add some hot glue onto the bee, so that way the support stand will stay in place better. And now, let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, so now I've got everything set up. Now, let's go ahead and do a final test. Turn both on. And there you have it, it works. Even with these DC motors, it actually makes them sound like an insect because of the buzzing sound.
And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own Amazon cardboard jitterbug toys with using a few simple parts. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, click on the bell icon to be notified of future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.